Hello, aspirants. Welcome to Agrovision for you. So the much awaited CFTRI notification for MSC Food Technology 2024-25 is out now. So if you want to know about the notification and the application procedures and the and how to prepare about the exam, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now moving ahead. So as mentioned, CFTRI is one of the prestigious and oldest institutions in India providing MSc in food technology. CFTRI is an acronym for Central Food Technological Research Institute. It conducts its entrance exam, that's MSc Food Technology, every year for the admission to the courses of MSc Food Technology. Now let's see what the notification says about. So as you can see the notification, as I've already mentioned, the CFTRI Institute is in Mysore, Karnataka. A straightforward moving ahead to the total number of seats in the Institute for MSc Food Technology program are, as you can see, there are overall 34 seats in the institution, while 30 seats open for everyone. Two seats are reserved for defense personnel and two seats are reserved for industry sponsored candidates. Now, straightly moving ahead to the important dates about the notification and the application procedures. That is 10th of April 2024. The online applications would start on 10th of April 2024. And the last date to submit the online application is 5th of June 2024. Admit card can be downloaded 26th June onwards. Talking about the date of entrance exam, the major important thing over here is the date of entrance exam. That is 7th of July 2024. As you can see, last year in 2023, the exam was on 23rd of July, but this year they have pre postponed the exam and we have the exam on 7th of July 2024. So it's high time for all the aspirants to start preparing as you have exactly three months to prepare for the exam. And yes, three months are also enough if you have consistency and dedication. Moving ahead, the results would be out by 30th of July and the admissions would be from 9th of August. From 12th of August, the qualified students can commence their classes. Now, the important thing over here is there are many documents that would be required for you to submit during your application procedure, one of which is the mark sheets for your all these semesters. I know many of the aspirants are still in their final semester and have not got their semester mark sheets. So all the final year aspirants do read this point very carefully. So this point says if the final marks or grade card is not available by closure date, that is closure date of the online application, that is 5th of June 2024, then the same can be submitted through email on the email address given here and uh, latest by 25th of July 2024. Now talking about the eligibility criteria for the admission. So the eligibility is students with bachelor's degree in science, agriculture, engineering, technology with a minimum of 55 percent marks for general AWS, OBC and defense personnel while 50 percent marks for SC, ST, PWD students from a recognized university. While for industry sponsored candidates, bachelor's degree in science, agriculture, engineering or technology is required with a minimum of 55 percent marks. And additionally, two years of industrial experience in a food or allied industry is mandatory. Industry sponsored candidates do keep this in mind that you have to submit an authentic certificate of sponsorship from the sponsor and the format for the sponsorship certificate has been attached in here. You can check that out on the website. Now, many of my students have asked about the semester fees that would be there in CFTRI. So it's quite less as compared to the other universities that provide MSc or MTech Food Technology. That is, course fee per semester will be rupees 30,000. And for defense personnel and industry sponsored candidates, it would be 60,000. Talking about the exam pattern. So basically, if I talk about the exam pattern, 
the entire paper would consist of 100 questions for 100 marks and you would be given 100 minutes to solve the paper. 100 minutes that is 1 hour and 40 minutes you would be given to solve the paper and all the questions would be MCQ based. There would be one mark for each positive response and minus 0.25 for every negative response. Uh, you can clearly see over here the documents to be uploaded. That is one recent passport size colored photograph with all the semester mark sheets or grade cards of the qualifying exam. Proof of date of birth, that is the Aadhaar card, your 10th or 12th mark sheet or birth certificate. Certificate for the claim of reservation like OBC non creamy layer, creamy layer, SC, SD and other reservations. Parent or guardian's latest income tax return filed or income proof. Proof for remnant, uh, proof for remittance of application fee through SPI collect. Experience and sponsorship certificate for the mm -hmm. industry candidates. Nomination and sponsor certificate for the defense candidates. Now, these are some of the documents you need to keep prepared before filling the application form. Now, straightly moving ahead to the syllabus. So the syllabus for the CFTRA entrance exam includes majorly 10 subjects, that is physics, chemistry, maths, biology, which consists of botany and zoology, microbiology, food biotechnology, biochemistry and nutrition, agriculture and dairy technology, food engineering, mental ability, general awareness on health and wellness. So these are the 10 subjects you need to go through in depth so that you can answer in the question paper. Now that was all about the CFTR entrance exam, the syllabus and all the major important dates that you need to keep in mind. Now, yes, with due respect, Agrivision for You has launched the course for CFTRA and is providing exclusive discounts on the courses, wherein we would be providing you with live and recorded lectures, study material, test series, previous year questions, which would be obviously memory based, and revision sessions, short notes, and so on. So you can contact on the number given on screen to know more about the course and avail the exclusive discounts available. So that's it for today. See you in the next video. In the meantime, do like, share and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next video where we would be talking about how to fill the CFTRA application form. OK, see ya.